how do you heal your money and the curses and the curse of poverty there is powers of, of poverty that that has been affecting many people this poverty is as serious i'm talking about money i'm not talking about the poverty of the world because some people they can have money but they are poverty in the world but i'm talking really money poverty physical poverty you have no food you have no money you work but you are, you don't know where you take your money that's that's what i'm talking about how to heal your money and the curse of poverty some people they can be doing good job but still they are under poverty because of the curse that have been placed on the family therefore tonight i am going to ask jesus to destroy them the secret i'm going to refer to you it is very powerful it is going to deliver you and it is going to set you free from poverty that curse that has been blessed on you by the witchcraft, by evil, by what your forefather did, and then the, the curse is blessed there. So today we are going to destroy them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to talk to the heart, to the to the to the to the heaven to open for you, so that you can live under the blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The blessings of Abraham is yours. It's still your, it's, a, it's, it's for the children of God. It's the, for the children of God, not the children of the devil. I am going to read from the book of First John 5, verse 4 to, to, to 5. You are overcomer. You are overcomers. The Lord will turn your circumstances around you to favor you. You are overcomers. The Bible says, for whatever is born of God, for what's, what, whatever for whatsoever, whatever, wherever, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Whatever is born of God, you are born of God. The Bible says you overcome the world. You overcome the world. That's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. You know you overcome the world. You overcome the world because you are overcomers. That's why you overcome the world. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are so wonderful. Thank you for, the, for this word. That's why we get from overcomers. You are overcomers. You are overcomers. You overcome the world. No demon from the pit of hell. That will hold your blessings. Every curse that has been blessed to you, I destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Hallelujah. For, for everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Except the one who is who believes that, that Jesus is the Son of God. The Bible is asking, who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? You are overcomers. You have overcome the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. Who is the who is the who overcomes the world? But who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? So you have overcome the world. That's what you want to know. You want to know that you overcome the world. You are overcomers. So when you overcome the world, there is no any other power. There is no any other curses that will come to stay and overtake you because you are overcomers so when you are overcomers your money must be healed the curses that has been blessed on you you have to overcome that curses you have to overcome every other you have to overcome every curses that has been placed on you 
you cannot live under the curse and you are serving the son, the, 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 the son of the living God. Because Jesus has taken that curse already. So the curse must die, must get out. It must be broken in, in pieces in Jesus' name. Every curse that has been placed on you, every curse that has been placed on your money, any curse that has been placed on your family, poverty, that curses, I break them in the name of Jesus. I break that curses right now in the name of Jesus. You, that curse that has been placed in this person, I break you. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Your money must be healed. Your money must be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, you will put money in your pocket and then your money will stay there in the name of Jesus Christ. I am going to pray for your money to be healed because your money is sick. The money, when it, when it comes it, during the time you get the money like this, because it is sick, it goes. It goes wherever it comes from. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. Glory be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you. I know many people, they don't want to see this. When they see money, they think that, oh, 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 he's talking about money again. Yes, I'm helping you. I have got a lot of calls, testimony about this message. People are suffering. People are being cast. Their money is being cast. That's why I'm praying to you tonight so that your money can be healed. Your money must be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you for inviting your followers. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. Welcome. Yes, you are overcomers. You have to tell yourself, I am overcomers. Therefore, anything that is working against me, I destroy them. You be proud by this scripture. Meditate upon this scripture. You, you can hold your money. You are worried. You are, you are, you are, you are ATM. Hold it to your hand and command any, anything that is, that, is, that is casting your money. Let them die. You command, you say, my, tea, my ATM must be healed. You have to be healed. My, 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 my visa card, you must be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my Father. Every child of the devil that is putting curses on your money, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Occult people, satanic people, they are here waiting and to put curses on the people's money. I pray that that God Almighty destroy you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will deliver your money tonight. Your money is going to be healed in Jesus' name. Glory be the name of Jesus. Another scripture is from the book of Deuteronomy 32, verse 1 to 4. The book of Deuteronomy, verse 1 to 4. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, glory be the name of Jesus. The Bible says, give ear, O heavens, and let me speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. Now, this is Moses. Moses is talking, he's saying, Give ear, O oh, heavens. is asking heaven to give ears. Hello, hello. Yes, thank you. Moses is asking the, the, the heaven, he say, give ears, O oh, heavens, and let me speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. You command the, because the, you have to talk to the heavens, you have to talk to the earth. That's why I'm saying, when you give your tithe or offering to, to God, you have to represent your, your offering. The, your pastor must represent your offering to the heavens. If there's anything attacking your finances, you speak. You command the heavens. You command the earth. You command here, you hear very well. If you are against this person, today I declare you, by the power and the blood of Jesus, you have to release this person's finances. Now Moses was saying, he said, hear the word of my mouth, not the word of God, not the word of anything, because he was, so, he was the one who was talking. He said, let my teaching drop as the rain, my speech 
distill the, the as the dew, as the, the, the drops on the fresh glass, and as the showers of the herbs. For I, pro I program the name of the Lord. A saint, a scrap, a great to our God. The, the Lord, his work is perfect, for all his ways are just. A God of faithful and without in just, righteous and up and upright is he. So Moses was talking to God and they said that the, the, Lord, the Lord is the Lord. His work is perfect for his ways are just. A God of faith and without injustice. Our God is not injustice God. God our God is a, a justice God. God is a perfect God. So when you talk to the heart, you talk to the heaven. You start standing in the heaven to hear, to open up for your, for your blessings to pour out. When I was praying for the offering, I see windows of heaven open straight away. That's why I say your money must be healed in Jesus' name. Anything that is a, making your money to be sick, anything that is making, making, you, making, making your money that cannot stay with you, let that thing be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let that power be destroyed completely in the name of Jesus. Every curse that has been blessed on your money. People, they can curse your money. They can attack your money. They can attack your finances. They put the curses on your finances. Every curse that has been blessed on your finances, I destroy them. I plead the blood of Jesus over your finances. Let your finances be healed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 78, verse 23, the Bible says, Yet he, he commanded the scars above and opened the doors of heaven. You see, there's doors of heaven. Yet he commanded the scars above and opened the doors of heaven. The Lord is going to open doors of heaven for you to release the blessings. The blessings of God, the Lord Almighty, is going to open the, the door. You see, the door, your door may be closed. When you pray, you are, the prayer does not go anywhere because the door is closed. But the Lord Almighty is going to open the door. And the door of heaven is going to open for you. So your prayers will go and your money will be healed in Jesus' name. You know, Moses talks to the earth and talks to the heavens. Now the, you can talk to the heaven and you can talk to the earth. So Moses, when he was talking to the earth, he said, hear the speech of my mouth. You have to obey because I'm the child of God. You are also the child of God. So you have to obey what I'm saying. Now the windows of heaven, the doors of open, open. And then the blessings was, was pulled down. All your prayers is going up because the, 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 the door is open in the name of Jesus. I pray that the door that has been closed by the enemy, it, that it, it should be open in the name of Jesus. Let that door be opened by fire. Every door that has been closed for you, every door that has been closed for anyone, let it be opened in the name of Jesus. In the mighty, in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, I pray every door you have lost, locked behind you, let it open in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, my God. I want to thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Psalms 115, verse 12, the Bible says, The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. The Lord is. The Lord has been man, mindful of us. The Lord takes care of us. He, he minds us. His mind is, God is so mindful. Some, you may wonder, is, is, is this person is really minding, minding about us? God is mindful. He's mindful about us. He, he, he will bless us. He will heal our finances. He will heal our finances and take away every curse and bless us. That's what the scripture says. Psalms 115 verse 12. The Lord has, has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of, God, of, of, of Israel. He will bless your house. He's going to bless your house. Where you came from. He, God is going to bless you because he's mindful of God. He knows that you are going through difficult. 
So he's coming to bless you. God, our God is blessing you. He's coming with, with the blessings because you remember, he, he, he blessed Abraham. Abraham was not rich, but he blessed Abraham and Abraham become multi-billionaires, the father of all nations, very wealthy man from zero until where God blessed him. He didn't have money. God will bless you the same way he blessed Abraham. Only be obedient and obey and plan your seat in the right place. Some people are very abusive. Even me, they, they, they think that I'm, I'm desperately, that I need, I, I, am, I am so cheap. So they want to give whatever they want. I, I don't need it, such an offering. Take it and go and give it to your church or go and to give to somewhere else. If you can't give your tithe, your full amount, if you want the blessings of God, bring it, I will, I will take it to the throne of God and pray for you. You know, I will take it to the, to the altar and I will speak to the heaven. I will speak to the heart to, to release your blessings. How can somebody go to, uh, that, that's called pay, PayPal, to give $5? I'm not refusing your $5 because that's what you have. I thank you for that. But some people, they abuse, and that is wrong. Don't abuse, because this, this is your blood, and this, this, this is a curse that will curse you, and you will not, it will not be very good for you. So, if you want to give with your whole heart, you give. If you want to give your whole amount of your tithe, give it. If you scatter them, you split it, then that is how the blessings will, will go. I pray that God... In the name of Jesus, God Almighty will deliver your finances and give you the blessings that the Bible is talking. The blessings of, of Israel, the blessings of Abraham, the blessings of Jacob, the blessings of Isaac. It belongs to you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my God. I want to thank you, Father. Yes, Jesus, I want to honor you, God. I give you all the glory, my God and my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. My God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. I want to glorify your name. I give you all the glory, Jesus. You are wonderful. Wonderful God, I thank you. Wonderful God, I honor you. Wonderful God, I glorify you. Wonderful Father, I thank you. I give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my God and my Father. In the name of Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 19. The Bible says. And this same God. Who takes care of me. Will supply all your needs. From his glorious riches. Which have been given to us. In Christ. So here is Paul. Telling the, the Philippians. God is talking to you right now. And this same God. And this same God. That we serve. The, the same God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, will take care of us, will take care. Because he was taking care of him. So he, 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 he is like, he's like Abraham. When Abraham said the blessings of Abraham will come upon his children. So, Paul, Apostle Paul, he understood how the blessings of God is. He understood how God was taking care of him. Because God was taking care of him, he was releasing the blessings that he received. Because what the Philipp the Philipp the Philipp the Philipp the, the, the Philippians did, they, they give to him, they take care of him. He did not release the blessings to him to them from nothing. Check the Bible, read the, the book of Philippians, all, all of them, and see what the Philippians did. And when he went to, to other churches, the, the other churches, they didn't support him. They didn't help him. They didn't even give him anything. That's what the Bible says. But now, after the, the Philippians gave him some, they supported him, then he released the blessings to them. So, you, that's how... It works. Paul did not release the blessing to them for nothing. He, adored, he, he released the blessing to them because he was, 
they, they, they were taking care of him. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Let's look on that scripture once again. The Bible says, here from from the book of a uh, from the book of a uh, uh, Philippians four verse nineteen. It says, uh, let's, start, let's start from verse 12. It says, I know how to, to, to brought law and how to do bound. In, and, in any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger and abundance and need. I do all things through him who strengthens me. Yet, it was kind of you to share my trouble. You see, he's talking to 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 to, Phil, to, to this Philis, uh, uh, Philippians. He's talking about them. He was talking to them. He said, "And you Philippians, you yourself, you know that in the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia's." No church entered into partnership with me in giving and receiving, except you only. That's what the Bible says. Look at that. Look at verse 16. Look at verse 15 and 16. He was saying, except you only. Other churches, they didn't support him. Now, Paul took, took all the blessings and gave to, the, to, the, to the, this church. And, and now, that's how it is. When the church was so rich, the church was so wealthy, because they, 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 they shared with Paul. And Paul says, God was caring about him. When you look at the Bible, the Bible is very clear. That's why Paul releases his blessings to the church. He did not release blessings when, when the, the, the church would not give him, would not bless them. I pray that God will release the blessings of Paul, Paul also to come to you and you will and your money will be healed in Jesus name. Proverbs 10 verse 22 the Bible says the blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and he has no sorrow with it. The blessings of, of the blessings of God makes a person rich and has no sorrow with it. When God can make you rich he can heal your money and no sorrow. When you get your paycheck, you will be happy and rejoice. You are not going to be crying and saying, you look, I got the money, it's gone. You are not going to, to cry. His wealth is full of glorious. His wealth is, it does not have condition. That is the Proverbs 10 verse 22. The blessing of God makes a person rich and he has no sorrow with it. You don't have to have worry because God's blessings is, is there. When your money is healing, your, the blessings of God will, will flow. When, you are, you are, when your money is healed, no curses that will bless on your finances. No more curses because God would, would bless you and His riches does not add any sorrow. Hallelujah. In, 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 second, in second Corinthians 9, 8, the Bible says, and God, and God will generously provide all your needs. Then you will always have everything you have needed and plenty left over to share with others. That, that is what the Bible says. The Bible says, and God will generously provide all your needs. Then you will always have everything you, have, you needed and plenty left over to share with others you have to share with others you don't have to be greedy you need to share with others and you know where you share you don't have to share to, to the children of the devil who will go and destroy you you have to know how to share your 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 your, your whatever you want to share when god has blessed you when god was blessing abraham so much Abraham was giving to God thousands and thousands. 
The same thing what, what God did to, to Solomon. And, and all the servants of God, all the prophets, they were giving. They were, not, they were not greedy. They were giving thousands. They were giving to God. They were sacrificing to God. That's Abraham himself gave his tithe full. He gave his tithe. He was a tither. So that's what, what made him to rebuke the poverty and the, the curses of the father's house. When, when Abraham received the, the, their money, he gave his tithe. And after giving his tithe, that's when he was, he was blessed mightily. And he planted his seeds in a proper way. He was not planting, in the, he didn't give the seeds where, where the thorns or all the parts of air will come and eat or where God will reject. He was representing his tithe to the proper ground. And the blessings were coming, were coming. If Abraham was giving in a wrong place, the blessings of God could have not flow. And that's how God, uh, that's how Abraham re uh, break the curses of the father's house. It was very serious for him as a big man living with, with his father's house. And then God has to, to call him from his father's house. So it's the same thing. When you get your tithe and offering, you give to the right place. Give to, um, give to our ministry. I will take it to the throne, to the, to the throne of God. I will take it and present your tithe and offering. And, I, and the, your heaven will be open. You will never be the same again. I'm telling you, you think that I am crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm telling you the truth. That is how it is. If you are facing difficult financial difficulty, and you have been dieting your church, you have been giving all over, all over places, but nothing is happening, just try this. That's why God says, uh, try me and see if I cannot open windows of heaven. If God cannot open windows of heaven and bless you, then then something is not. Then God is not there. God will must open the windows of heaven and bless you, because we will take authority against the curses. They, we will break the curses. That curses that has been blessed through that full amount. If you want your money to be healed, that's what it is. If your money want your money to be healed, you bring your tithe and offering, and then we will present it to the heaven. I used to be like that for a long time until I ran this secret. After that, I've never, 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 never be poor again. And I will never, I will never, never. God has blessed me, blessed my children, blessed wherever I go. That's what I, that's how I am. So God is good. Thank you very much. The book of Jeremiah 17 verse 8, the book of Jeremiah 17 Verse 7 to 8, the Bible says, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and the confidence. They are like trees planted along river bank with roots that reaches deep in the water. Such trees are not bothered, but they eat or worried by the long months of drought. Their leaves stayed green and they never stop producing fruits. Do you know Jesus cast a tree when he went to look for a, fru a fruit and he didn't find anything? So here, the Bible says that anybody who trusts God is likened like this tree that is planted in the liver side. Whether the, there is drought or not, the fruit, the, leaf, the, the, the leaves are staying green and they never stop producing fruits. You will never be dry. Always, always you have money in your pocket. Yeah? When you trust God and you give your tithe and offering, that you will never, 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 never lucky. You will never lucky. You will never, whatever, when people are crying, when the famine is coming, when, when this, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, this, this, uh, uh, what is it? I'm forgetting the word. So when the drought is coming, you don't cry. You just laugh. That's what the Bible says. When other people are starving you, you just, you, just, you just cry. God is able. Because you are planted in the liver side, you are always clean. You are always giving. You are, you are always producing. That's how, that is how it is. Look at that scripture. Go and read it by yourself again. 
But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. When you make the Lord your hope and your and confidence, they are like trees planted along river bank with roots that reaches deep unto the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by the wrong months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruits. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. That is how it, it is. Always you will have money. You will never lack. You will never follow. When you want to follow, there is money here. So you will be the lender. You will be the head, not the tail. You will lend many, many nations. People will come to ask you money. To Even the banks. It is true. You may be surprised at why I'm talking like that. Because God is going to bless you. God has been blessing people. You are not the only one that God will bless you. God has blessed the people of the Bible. People were living in poverty. The poverty was broken to pieces and the, the people were, were blessed. Even the people that are around you. Look at their life. They don't live like the way you are living. God will help you in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will rest and set up and set the altar of wicked on fire. Every wicked that is attacking your finances, that is cursing you, that is putting a curse on your family, let, let God set them fire. Let God set them fire in the name of Jesus. Let God set their altars on fire. Let God set the altars of the wicked fire. The wicked where they are taking your money for curse, for curses. Today I am praying that let God set that, that, that the altars, the altars of the wicked. Let God set fire and that altar let it burn to ashes in the, in the name of Jesus. I pray that every mouth of the wicked speaking against, speaking against you, I command them to shut up all that wicked mouth. You remember the Bible says when Moses was talking, he said, Hear the word of my mouth. Every satanic mouth that is opening to cast your money, to cast your finances, what they did to, your, your, to you, that is costing you up to now that you are suffering. Let that mouth be shut up in the name of Jesus. There are wicked mouths that they cast and say, you will work, but you will never enjoy your money. You will start business, but you will never benefit. You will never enjoy that business. You go and get everything, but you will close that, 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 that business down. That's somebody's greed is very wicked. I am, I am praying that let their mouth be shut up, to be shut in the name of Jesus. I pray every power stealing your promotion, I command them to die. Those powers that is stealing your promotion, that powers, you are, your promotion, they are the powers that is stealing, waiting that the boss is going to promote you. And then that day they can even fire you. They steal the promotion. They will fight until you miss it. But the, by the power and the blood of Jesus, I command those power to die in the name of Jesus. I am asking the Holy Spirit to heal your finances. I am asking anybody that is attacking your finances, anything that is affecting your, your finances, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I want to thank you, Lord. I bless your name. I give you the glory, my God and my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my God. I pray that God, arrows of satanic judgment, I command you to backfire. Backfire in the name of Jesus. I send you back to the center. Arrows of satanic judgment, I send you back to the center. Backfire. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father. I praise your name, God. Everything the enemy has stolen by day or night, I command them to come back in the name of Jesus. Anything the enemy is stealing from you during the day, during the night, like night now, they are there to, to, to steal it from you. I command them in the name of Jesus Christ to come back. Anything they have taken. For example, if you, you, if you see in the dreams, that your word has been stolen, things has been stolen. I command them to come back to you in Jesus' name. I command that thief, I send the arrows to that thief to the heart. 
and the arrows will stay there until he stands what they have taken from you in the mighty name of Jesus. I am talking to the, to, to the thieves and spiritual thieves, spiritual criminals, to, take, to return everything they have taken from you in the name of Jesus. To return everything they have taken from you by the power and the blood of Jesus. You thief criminals, you spiritual criminal, spiritual thieves, return everything you have taken from this person in Jesus' name. You have been robbing this person for a long time. Your time is up. Return everything you have taken. Sevenfold. Return the hours you have taken from this person. Return the time you have wasted for this person. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father. I want to thank you, God. Every altar that has rest, rest, rest against you by night, I break them in Jesus' name. I break every altar that they have rest up against you at night every altar that has rest up against you at night let that altar be broken into pieces in jesus name in the mighty name of jesus in the connection from witchcraft or opposition i command them to be destroyed in the name of jesus let them be destroyed let them be destroyed in the name of jesus oh lord my father i pray that god will deliver your finances let your money be healed in Jesus' name. You, I pray that God will make you to enjoy your money. When you have your money, you, you, your money cannot be taken away by witches and wizards. They will reject those powers in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I bleed the blood of Jesus over your money. I pray that God will deliver your money. And anybody that want to steal from you shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I breathe the blood of Jesus over you, over your family, over your children, in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every property in your family. I break every property crying against you. I break every property that, that is standing against your finances. Let that poverty clear away in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You that poverty in this man, in this woman, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will hear you, will hear your cry. And I'm praying as a servant of God to break and destroy every curse that has been blessed on your family, every curse that has been blessed on you, every witchcraft, uh, witchcraft curses against your finances. Let those curses be broken in Jesus' name. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every altar of satanic, every satanic altar rest, resting against you, resting against your money, resting against your, your, your finances. Let that altar be broken to pieces in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God Almighty will clear away every power of darkness that is crying against your, your, your money, that is taking your money to the satanic altar. Let God Almighty clear them away in Jesus' name. Let God set them fire and burn them to ashes. They, 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 they give you money. They have taken to their, con their coven. To, when you get this money, you take it, and then they will transfer poverty to you, and then they take your wealth. Let those satanic people, the way they operate, let their ways be slippery and be bound in Jesus' name. People who are stealing the, the wealth of the people, and then they go and sell it. Let these people hear the word of God that God is against. God is, is not in justice. God is a justice God. They are as we pray tonight, he will hear our prayer and is going to heal your money. He's going to heal my money. He's going to heal our money. Our money will be healed in the name of Jesus and the, that the curses has been broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. God bless you so much. Go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.soe dot ca yes over ww overcomers okay let me start again ww dot overcomers d h m at gmail dot com <laughs> hallelujah praise be the name of Jesus that's not the email. That is, a, yeah. I think I said email, not 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 the website. 
www.overcomersdhm no 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 what's wrong with you christine say it properly www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca that is our website and the email is overcomersdhm at gmail.com you see they are very close that's why sometimes I forgot I say M instead of ministries. So overcomers, dhm at gmail.com. Some people, they write ministry. They write email. Email does not have ministry. Yes, that is exactly how it is. Email, we don't have ministry. We have overcomers, dhm at gmail.com. So many people, they write the ministry. So the, the, the website is www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca. So the website has ministries. That is where the confusion is. But it, that's okay. If you Google, you will get the, the, the right way. So go there and plant your seed. Let me know. If you want to give your tithe and offering, I will pray, I will call you and pray for you. Then you will watch and see if God is not going to open his windows of heaven. This is not, this is not lucky or this is not a charity or this is not like, a, like lucky or charity. That is the truth. We will break. We are going to break the curses and we are taking that, that offering to the heaven. I'm not the type of the people talking about prosperity, prosperity, give a thousand, give 500, a, a pledge. I'm not talking that. I am talking the curses to break the curses of poverty in your life. People have been planting seeds. You have been planting seeds so that God can bless you. But you, instead of blessing, you lose. You've been tortured. You have sickness and diseases. Nothing has happened to you. I'm not talking that. I'm not talking about prosperity. I'm talking about uh, to break the poverty that is that you are in you've been planting you have been people you have been hearing people from 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 television if this evangelist in the te television calling you and asking you to give a thousand to give 500 even 10,000 they ask you and people have been giving they have been giving but they are still alive of not nothing has happened to them Check yourself how much you have been given to those people who are calling. I'm not that type of the person. Don't mistake me. I am a deliverance minister, and I want God to, to help you to deliver your finances. Your, your money must be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. I will see if tomorrow morning I will be on. I'm not sure. So tomorrow, tomorrow 7 o'clock, we have deliverance. Very powerful. The reason why I'm, I'm, I think I'm not going to be on is because we have deliverance at 7 o'clock tomorrow, Friday. We have uh, the, the, what we call the water of fire. We are going to do the waters, uh, pray about the water. And people will be drinking the water the, next, the, the rest of the month until December. So we are going to do that, the deliverance, because waters has been polluted. The water has been polluted, so we, we are going to pray for the water. And the, you know, the, the Bible says that Elijah rebuked 30 sentences that was in the water, and the people started drinking the water, and they were healed. The water of Bethesda, the water that was healing the sick and diseases were going, were, were healed through the water. So we are going to have deliverance of the water tomorrow seven o'clock that's why i mean i may not have um, i may not be on seven or eight o'clock tomorrow because of the big meeting the big deliverance we have tomorrow so and we are going to say bye bye to the month of july then we will welcome the month of the month of august so if you can join us that's fine if you don't then you can call me i can pray for you for your water Go and plant a seed. If you are not a, a partner to us, if you want to become a partner, go to our, our website and, and ask the request. And also donate to our ministry. 
Thank you very much. God bless you and have a wonderful time. Thank you. I love you so much. There's nothing I can do about it. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.